Hi there, this vignette is going to help you calculate minimum alveolar concentration on your anesthesia machine. Now there's a couple principles we have to go over before we begin this exercise and that is to ensure that you know what minimum alveolar concentration is and that you know what the standardized values are for each of the gases that will give you what is called MAC. So minimum alveolar concentration is considered the concentration of gas in the alveolus that is measured at end tidal expiration in which 50 percent of the human population will not move to a surgical stimulus. Now there's four gases that you can deliver that can give you this MAC, one of them being desflurane, one being sevoflurane, one being isoflurane, and nitrous oxide. Now each of them, when delivered at a certain concentration to the alveolus, can give you this MAC. For desflurane, that standard value is 6%. For sevoflurane, that standard value is 2%. For isofluorine, that standard value is 1.15%. And for nitrous oxide, if you were able to do this, you would have to deliver 100% concentration in the alveolus. So, MAC value for nitrous is 100%. For isofluorine, it's 1.15%. Sevoflurane is 2% and desflurane is 6%. That means that whatever you're delivering, flow of air, that 6% of desflurane would have to be in the alveolus for you to achieve MAC, or 2% sevoflurane would have to be measured in the alveolus for you to achieve MAC. 2% of the mixture would have to be sevoflurane. 1.15% of the mixture would have to be isofluorine, or 100% of the mixture would have to be nitrous oxide. Now you can never deliver nitrous oxide by itself at one atmosphere and achieve MAC, but you can add nitrous oxide along with one of the other gases in the modern vaporizers. So what you can do when you calculate your MAC because remember that MAC is a calculation done in your mind and percentage is what you place on these dials here what are considered these dials and you'll see them on top of the vaporizers on your anesthesia machine and you're also going to be delivering flows out of these vapor or I'm sorry out of these flow tubes and what happens is this mixture of gas over here in these flow tubes comes over to one of the vaporizers, one of these, not all of these, and will pick up a concentration of gas to add it to the total flow mix. And that total flow mix is what is delivered to the alveolus, and at end expiration, you are measuring the concentration of one of these gases. And that comes up on your monitor, and you can measure that percentage, percentage of agent and determine what MAC value you have dialed in for the patient. So let's consider one example. If I deliver one liter of oxygen, I deliver two liters of nitrous oxide, and I deliver... 0.8% isofluorine. What is my MAC that I have dialed in and are delivering and, and is delivering to the patient? Excuse me. So first thing we have to do is remember that nitrous oxide has a MAC value of 100%. Oxygen does not have a MAC value. But isofluorine has a MAC value that's standard at 1.15%, and we're delivering 0.8%. We're also delivering a percentage of nitrous oxide. So we have to calculate both of these. Now, in order to calculate the percentage of nitrous oxide we're delivering, we have to know our total flow. 
and then we have to uh, take our flow of nitrous oxide, divide that by our total flow to give us our percentage of nitrous oxide delivered. And in this case, it's simply 2 liters of nitrous oxide over 3 liters total flow, right? Because you've got 2 liters of nitrous oxide and you've got 1 liter of oxygen. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And that is going to equal 0.67, right? Or 67% of your mixture in those two gases is nitrous oxide. Now, if our MAC value for nitrous oxide is 100%, we are delivering 67% divided by 100%. We are delivering 0.67 MAC of nitrous oxide. But that's not done yet. We're also delivering a concentration of gas from isofluorine. And so now we see that we have, let's make sure we understand that this is nitrous here. Now we have isofluorine, and we are delivering that at 0.8%, and our standard value is 1.15%. So our MAC value for this, let me get a calculator real quick. Our MAC value for isofluorine in this example is 0.69, roughly 0.7. So we'll say 0 0.7 MAC of ISO. Now, these two are both being delivered to the patient. So the total MAC delivered to the patient is going to be 0.67 MAC of nitrous plus 0.7 MAC of ISO or 1.37 MAC oops 1.37 MAC total I hope this helps